Welcome back. Uh, we finally got our rings in for the piston installed. Uh, I went ahead and already uh, put up to number one here. Uh, we checked all the uh, plastic gaps on each one uh, for the bearing gap. Uh, everything on the journal uh, come out about 2,000 so we're well within spec on that. Uh, the uh, One of the things I wanted to show you here is the uh, uh, placement of the piston so you can tell which which way they go into the uh, hole here so let me uh, grab one of the pistons okay here we go uh, let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit here with the bearing in there uh, you can see one side has a bigger gap in it okay this side here has a bigger gap than the other side the other sides flush or close to it. Uh, let me see if I can get it to zoom in here. Okay, so we know that the crankshaft has a radius on the cr on the journal. Um, so we're going to uh, uh, put the the piston in there with the wider gap towards that weight radius there, uh, and that way we know we got the clearance on there. Let me uh, get this lubed up here. And we'll go ahead and install it. Uh, I usually put a generous amount on here. Do the the uh, open side first here, and then just put some in the bearing. And this all gets squished around when you tighten her down here. So let me uh, adjust the camera here. <sighs> So I have, I'm looking at the number one here, and I'm going to go to the very first one. So we know the radius is there. So we're putting our, lining our piston up with the radius to the, up to the front of the motor. And I've already installed the rings and stuff on here. We get this started. Now I need to turn the crank around. I like having it all the way out. So I don't hit it with the studs here. Then I just take a wooden hammer and reach in here, grab the stud, and start knocking it in. All right. Now. I can kind of line her up here. I'm going to knock it the rest of the way in here. I'm checking my bearing, make sure my bearing's not moving on on the uh, piston here. Make sure that don't come off. It's kind of a pain to get it back on. Okay. I do see that it dropped down a little bit. Normally what I do is I'll just take a, you don't want to score anything, but I'm going to knock that bearing back around there a little bit. It slides pretty easy, so you don't have to hit it real hard. And now we can go ahead and lube up our, lube up our other part here, the cap. Again, I'm just going to do the outside edge here first. Where the radius is. And a generous amount inside here. <clears throat> Line this up with so it's going to be on the radius. Okay. And wipe my hands off a little bit here. <clears throat> All the pistons are numbered, so you can uh, uh, keep track of that. Uh oh. Dropped a nut. Alright, that one started. Mm -mm. 
Okay, the torque calls for uh, 43 and a half pounds of torque, foot pounds that is. We already got that set up. Just gonna get these hand tight here. Okay, once I get that far, I'm going to turn the crank a little bit here so I can get a better alignment. I'm going to do my torque. And I like going back and forth before I completely torque them down. Make sure they're both in the close to it. And I go across them a couple times just to verify. Okay, looks like we're good there. Uh, now we should be able to uh, uh, do the rest of our timing here. I'll uh, uh, get that going. I, I want to set up an indicator, make sure I'm at top dead center, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, um, I went in and turned the motor upright so we can uh, get the indicator on there. Uh, I've uh, already set it up here. Let me zoom in here. Um, I'll turn it and bring it up to number one here and see where we're at. Now you want to find the high spot where it stops and starts going down and set your zero. Okay, and that's our top dead center. I'm looking at my timing marks, and it's it's dead on, so uh, we should be good on that. Uh, I'm gonna double check it by turning it all the way around again. It's coming back up. All right, well we're hit within a thousandth of an inch. Um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna do what we need to do. Uh, we'll leave it set there and uh, we'll go ahead and move on with some other stuff here. Uh, you know, we want to double check the timing marks. Uh, if you remember right from the earlier portion of the video, uh, we didn't have the uh, number one piston in there before we put the timing chain on. Uh, I just turned the crank to uh, where I knew it would be at the top dead center or close to it. So, But everything worked out. So we'll go ahead and uh, move on. Uh, uh, I think we'll put in the oil pump. Okay, this is uh, fairly straightforward here. Uh, the oil pump came with uh, two different washers. One's got an egg shape in it. The other one's got a round circle. Uh, we checked the bottom of the pump and figured that the pump has an opening with an oval in it, so we're going to use that one down there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You don't need any sealing on this. Um, it should seal itself here. Let's get these started here. <clears throat> uh, you would, I, I will prime this before I start the motor. Um, you, you definitely don't want to start the motor with a dry. Uh, it, it takes a little bit to get that pump primed up, so you'll want to pre-prime the pump uh, before you start. So, and we'll do that down through the distributor hole. Uh, when we get get to that point, we'll prime up the pressure before we put the distributor in there. And 
I didn't find any specs on this for torque, so I'm just going to torque it down here, what I think's tight. Well, maybe. Not much room on there. Can't get a socket anyway. I'm pretty sure that's probably close to 50 foot pounds. Uh, go ahead and put the neck on here. This one you'll want to put the washer on it too. Pretty much only goes on one way, so if you don't have to worry about it, which direction here. <clears throat> Wish it was all this easy. And I'll go ahead and tighten these up and uh, uh, double check everything. We might be putting a pan on today here. Get this bottom buttoned up and uh, we'll be fine. So we'll catch up here in a minute. 